I worship Govinda, the primeval Lord who plays on his transcendental flute. His eyes are like lotus flowers, is decorated with peacock plumes, and his bodily color resembles the color of a fresh black cloud. Although his bodily features are more beautiful than millions of cupids. This beauty of the Supreme Lord can be seen by devotees who are in love with Him. Devotees whose eyes are anointed with love of Godhead. The Lord is also known as Giridhari or Girivaradhari because Krishna for the sake of his devotees lifted Govardhana Hill. The devotees appreciate the Lord's inconceivable strength, but none devotees, in spite of directly perceiving the Lord's inconceivable strength and power, regard the Lord's activities as fictitious. This is the main difference between devotee and non-devotee. Devotee easily, simply, very quickly accept because of their strong faith and belief. And the other hand, for non-devotee, it becomes fictitious. This uh, text 36, last para. This is the difference between a devotee and a non-devotee. Non-devotees cannot give any nomenclature for the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Yet, the Lord is known as Shyam Sundara and Giridhari. Similarly, the Lord is known as Devaki Nandana and Yashoda Nandana because he accepted the role of son for Mother Devaki and Mother Yashoda and he is known as Gopal because he enjoyed the sport of maintaining the cows and calves. Therefore, although he has no mundane name, he is addressed by devotees as Devaki Nandana, Yashoda Nandana, Gopal, 
एंड श्याम सुंदर दीज आर ऑल ट्रांसेंडेंटल नेम्स दैट ओनली डिवोटीज कैन appreciate and non devotees cannot the history of krishna the person has been openly seen by everyone yet only those who are in love with the supreme personality of godhead can appreciate this history whereas non devotees who have not developed their loving qualities think that the activities form and attributes of the supreme personality of godhead are fictitious therefore this verse explains na nama rupe guna janma karmam bhir nirupai tibye tava tasya sakshiniha in this connection shrila vishwanath chakravarti thakur has given the example that persons suffering from jaundice cannot taste the sweetness of sugar candy although everyone knows that sugar candy is sweet similarly because of the material disease non devotees cannot understand the transcendental name form attributes and activities of the supreme personality of godhead although they actually see the lord's activities either through authority or through history the puranas are old authentic histories but non devotees cannot understand them especially shrimad bhagavatam which is the essence of vedic knowledge non devotees cannot understand even the preliminary study of transcendental knowledge bhagavat gita they simply speculate and present commentaries with absurd distortions in conclusion unless one elevates himself to the transcendental platform by practicing bhakti yoga one cannot understand the supreme personality of godhead or his name form attributes or activities but if by chance by the association of devotees one can one can actually understand the lord and his features one immediately becomes a liberated person as the lord says in bhagavad gita janma karma chame divyam evam ya vetti tatvata taktva deham punarjanma 
नैत इमाम ए तीसो अर्जुना वन हु नोज द ट्रांसेंडेंटल नेचर ऑफ माई अपीरेंस एंड एक्टिविटीज डज नॉट अपॉन लिविंग द बॉडी टेक हिज बर्थ अगेन इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड बट अटेंस माई इटर्नल अबोड ओ अर्जुना श्रीला रूप गोस्वामी हैज देर फोर सेड दैट बाय अफेक्शन एंड लव फॉर द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड डिवोटीज कैन एक्सप्रेस देयर माइंड टू हिम विथ देयर वर्ड्स others however cannot do this as confirmed in bhagavad gita bhakti amam abhi janati yaman yas chasmi tattvata text 37 srinvan grinan sansmarayaschan chintayan नामा च मंगला ते क्रियासु यस्वच्चरणारविंद राविश्चेता न भवाय कल्पते इवन वाइल एंगेज इन वैरियस एक्टिविटीज डिवोटीज whose minds are completely absorbed at your lotus feet and who constantly hear chant contemplate and cause others to remember your transcendental names and forms are always on the transcendental platform and thus they can understand the supreme personality of godhead how bhakti yoga can be practiced is the purport how bhakti yoga can be practiced is explained in this verse shrila rupa goswami has said that anyone who has ded- dedicated his life to the service of the lord ta yasya harer dasye by his activities his mind and his words karmana manasa gira may stay in any condition of life and yet is no longer actually conditioned but is liberated niklasu apai avasthasu जीवम मुक्त सा उच्च थे इवेन दो सच ए डिवोटी इज इन ए मटीरियल बॉडी ही हैज नथिंग टू डू विथ हिज बॉडी फॉर ही इज ट्रांसेंडेंटली सिचुएटेड नारायण पर सर्व न कुतना विभायति बिकॉज ए डिवोटी इज एंगेज इन ट्रांसेंडेंटल एक्टिविटीज ही इज नॉट अफ्रेड ऑफ बींग मटीरियली एम्बॉडीड एलिस्ट्रेटिंग दिस लिबरेटेड पोजिशन श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु प्रेड मम जन्मनी जन्मानीश्वरे 
भवतद भक्तिर अहेतुकी त्वयी ऑल आई वॉन्ट इज योर कॉजलेस डिवोशनल सर्विस इन माई लाइफ बर्थ आफ्टर बर्थ शिक्षास्त्र का फोर्थ श्लोका इवन इफ ए डिवोटी बाय द सुप्रीम विल ऑफ द लॉर्ड टेक्स बर्थ इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड ही कंटिन्यूज हिज डिवोशनल सर्विस वेन किंग भारता मेड a mistake and in his next life became a deer his devotional service did not stop although some slight chastisement was given to him because of his negligence narada muni says that even if one falls from the platform of devotional service he is not lost where is non devotees are lost entirely because they are not engaged in service bhagavad gita 9th chapter 14th shloka therefore recommends that one always engage at least in chanting the hare krishna maha mantra satatam kritayanto maam यतांत दृढ़ाव्रत यतांत दृढ़ाव्रत नाम नाम मम भक्त नित्ययुक्ता उपासते ऑलवेज चैंटिंग माय ग्लोरीज इन डेवरिंग विथ ग्रेट डिटर्मिनेशन बोइंग डाउन बिफोर मी द ग्रेट सोल्स perpetually worship me with devotion one should not give up the process of devotional service which is performed in nine different ways shravanam kirtanam vishnu shravanam pad sevanam etc the most important process is hearing shravanam from the guru sadhu and shastra the spiritual master the saintly acharyas and the vedic literature sadhu shastra guru vakya chittete koriya ekya we should not hear the commentaries and explanation of non devotees for this is strictly forbidden by sri la sanatan goswami who quotes from the padma purana a vaishnava mukho grinam putam hari kathamritam श्रवणम नैव कर्तव्य सर्वो सर्वोपचित यथा पय वी शुड स्ट्रिक्टली फॉलो द इंजंक्शन एंड नेवर ट्राई टू हियर फ्रॉम मायावादीज एम पर्सनलिस्ट वाइडिस्ट पॉलिटिशियंस 
और सो कॉल्ड स्कॉलर्स स्ट्रिक्टली अवॉइडिंग सच इन ऑस्पिशियस एसोसिएशन वी शुड सिंपली हियर फ्रॉम प्योर डिवोटीज श्रीडा रूपक गोस्वामी देर फोर रिकमेंड्स श्री गुरु पदाश्रय वन मस्ट सीक शेल्टर एट द लोटस फीट ऑफ ए प्योर डिवोटी हु कैन बी वंस गुरु चैतन्य महाप्रभु एडवाइज दैट ए गुरु इज वन हु स्ट्रिक्टली फॉलोज द इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ भगवत गीता यारे देखा तारक तारे कहे कृष्ण उपदेश चेतन चरता मृत मध्य लीला सेवन चैप्टर हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी एट वर्स ए जगलर ए मजिशियन और वन हु स्पीक्स नॉन सेंस एज एन एकेडमिक कैरियर is not a guru rather a guru is one who presents bhagavad gita krishna's instruction as it is shravana is very important one must hear from the vaishnava sadhu guru and shastra the word kriyasu meaning by manual labor or by work is important in this verse one should engage in practical service to the lord in our krishna consciousness movement all our activities are concentrated upon distributing krishna literature this is very important one may approach any person and induce him to read krishna literature so that in in the future he also may become a devotee such activities are recommended in this verse kriyasu stvaik charanar vindayo such activities will always remind the devotees of the lord's lotus feet by fully concentrating on distributing books for krishna one is fully absorbed in krishna this is samadhi text 38 dishtya hare asya bhavata pado bhuv dishtya hare asya bhavata pado bhuv bharo apina tastva janmane shituhu dishtya ankitam tat padakai shushohanai draksham gam dhyam chatavanu kampitam O oh Lord, we are fortunate because the heavy burden of the demons upon this earth is immediately removed by your appearance. 
Indeed, we are certainly fortunate, for we shall be able to see upon this earth and in the heavenly planets the marks of lotus conchal club and disc that adorn your lotus feet purport the soles of the lord's lotus feet are marked with sankha chakra gada padma conchal this club and lotus and also by a flag and a thunderbolt when krishna walks on this earth or in the heavenly planets these marks are visible very bur he goes that's why simply this braj raj we many time talk about or appreciate this is the main reason the all these auspicious marks are there on the on the soul of sri krishna and srimati radhika and this mark this marks touch this land braj bhumi brindavana dham is a transcendental place because of krishna's walking on this land frequently the inhabitants of brindavana were fortunate to see these marks here and there when akrura went to brindavan to take krishna and balaram away to the festival arranged by kamsa upon seeing the marks of the lord's lotus feet on the grounds of brindavana he fell down and began to groan these marks are visible to devotees who receive the causeless mercy of the supreme personality of godhead devanu kampitam the demigods were jubilant not only because the appearance of the supreme lord would do away with the burden some demons but also because they would be able to see upon the ground the transcendental marks from the soles of the lord's lotus feet the gopis always thought of the lord's lotus feet when he was walking in the pasturing grounds and as described in the previous verse simply by thinking of the lord's lotus feet the gopis were fully absorbed in transcendence avista chetana bhavaya kalpate absorbed in transcendence like the gopis one who is always absorbed in thought of the lord 
is beyond the material platform and will not remain in this material world. It is our duty, therefore, always to hear, chant and think about the Lord's lotus feet as actually done by Vaishnavas who have decided to live in Vrindavana always and think of the Lord's lotus feet 24 hours a day. Text 39 Nate bhavasyesha bhavasya karanam Bina vinodam bat tarkayamahe Babo nirodha stithir rapya vidyaya Kirtayatas toye bhayasriat mani O Supreme Lord you are not an ordinary living entity appearing in this material world as a result of fruitive activities. Therefore, your appearance or birth in this world has no other cause than your pleasure potency. Similarly, the living entities who are part of you have no cause for miseries like birth, death and old age except when these living entities are conducted by your external energy. Purport. As stated in Bhagavad Gita, chapter 15, seventh sloka, Mame Vansho Jeeva Loke Jeeva Bhuta Sanatana. The living entities are part and parcels of the Supreme Lord, and thus they are qualitatively one with the Lord. We can understand that when the Supreme Lord appears or disappears as an incarnation, there is no other cause than His pleasure, potency. We cannot force the Supreme Personality of Godhead to appear as he says in Bhagavad Gita Yada Yada Hi Dharmasya Glanir Bhavati Bharata Abhyutthanam Dharmasya Tadatmanam Srijamyam Whenever and wherever there is a decline in religious practice O descendant of Bharata and a predominant rise of a religion. At that time, I descend myself. When there is a need to diminish a burden created by the demons, the Supreme Godhead can do it in many ways because he has multifarious energies. There is no need for him to come as an incarnation. Since he is not forced to do anything like ordinary living 
entities. The living entities come to this material world in the spirit of enjoyment, but because they want to enjoy without Krishna, Krishna Bahir Mukha Hayya Bhoja Vancha Kore. Krishna Bahir Mukha Hayya Bhoja Vancha Kore. Because they want to enjoy without Krishna, they suffer birth, death, old age, and disease under the control of the illusory energy. When the Supreme Personality of Godhead appears, however, no such cause are involved. His descent is an act of his pleasure potential. We should always remember this distinction between the Lord and the ordinary living entity and not uselessly argue that the Lord cannot come. There are philosophers who do not believe in the Lord's incarnation and who ask, why should the Supreme Lord come? But the answer is, why should he not come? Why should he be controlled by the desire of the living entity? The Lord is free to do whatever he likes. Therefore, his verse says, Bina vinodam bata tarkayam mahe. Bina vinodam bata tarkayam mahe. It is only for his pleasure that he comes, although he does not need to come. When the living entities come to this world for material enjoyment, they are entangled in karma and karma phala by the Lord's illusory energy. But if one seeks shelter at the Lord's lotus feet, one is again situated in his original liberated state. As stated here, Krita Yatas Toy Abhyasraya Tatmani One who seeks shelter at the lotus feet of the Lord's is always fearless. Because we are dependent on the Supreme Personality of Godhead. We should give up the idea that without Krishna, we can enjoy freedom in this material world. This idea is the reason we have become entangled. Now it is our duty to seek shelter again at the Lord's lotus feet. The shelter is described as abhaya or fearless. Since Krishna is not subject to birth, death, old age or disease. And since we are part and partial of Krishna, we also are not subject to birth, death 
old age and disease but we have become subject to these illusory problems because of our forgetfulness of krishna and our position as his eternal servants jivera swarupa hoy krishna ra nitya das therefore if we practice devotional service by always thinking of the lord always glorifying him and always chanting about him as described in text 37 sarvanam granam sansmaransyam sa chintayam we will be reinstated in our original constitutional position and thus be saved the demigods therefore encouraged devaki not to fear kamsa but to think of the supreme personality of godhead who has already within her womb text 40 मतस्यासकक्षपनृसिंहवराहंस राज्यपुरधेशुतावता तम पासी नस्त्रिभुवन च यथाधुनेश भारम भुवोहर यदुत्तम वंदनम ते ओ सुप्रीम कंट्रोलर योर लॉर्डशिप प्रीवियसली एक्सेप्टेड इनकारनेशंस एज अ फिश a horse a tortoise narsimha dev a boa a swan lord ramchandra parshurama and among the demigods vamana deva to protect the entire world by your mercy now please protect us again by your mercy by diminishing the disturbances in this world o oh krishna best of the yadus we respectfully offer our obeisances unto you proper in every incarnation the supreme personality of godhead has a particular mission to execute and this was true in his appearance as the son of devaki in the family of the yadus thus all the demigods offered their prayers to the lord bowing down before him and requested the lord to do the needful we cannot order the supreme personality of godhead to do anything for us we can simply offer him our obeisances as advised in bhagavad gita man mana bhava mad bhakto madiyati mam namaskuru and pray to him for annihilation of dangers text 41 dishtyambate kukshigata param pumanan ananshena sakshat bhagwan bhavay nah ma bhut bhayam bhojpater umursho goptam yadunam bhavita tavatmajah O mother devaki by your good fortune 
and ours the supreme personality of godhead himself with all his plenary portions such as baladeva is now within your womb therefore you need not fear kamsa who has decided to be killed by the lord your eternal son krishna will be the protector of the entire yadu dynasty purport the words parah puman amshena signify that krishna is the original supreme personality of godhead this is the verdict of the shastra krishna stu bhagavan swayam thus the demi gods assured devaki your son is the supreme personality of godhead and he is appearing with baladeva his plenary portion he will give you all protection and kill kamsa who has decided to continue his enmity towards the lord and thus be killed by him text 42 shri sukha uvach itta bhishtuya purusham yadrupmanidam yatha brahme shano puro dhaya deva prati yurvidivam after thus offering prayers to the supreme personality of godhead lord vishnu the transcendence all the demi gods with lord brahma and lord shiva before them return to their homes in the heavenly planets purport it is said adhyapi ha chaitanya e sabha leela kare yanara bhagye thake se dekhaye nirantare the incarnation of the supreme personality of godhead appear continuously like the waves of a river or an ocean there is no limit to the lord's incarnations but they can they, they can be perceived only by devotees who are fortunate the devatas the demigods fortunately understood 